Every Sunday at Balboa Park, a musician takes a seat at the 101-year-old Spreckles organ. Music fills its more than 5,000 pipes and spills into the air from more than 30 feet above. Up there also sit instruments like a bass drum, cymbals, and castanets, all part of the organ. It isn't any old pipe organ, and the person playing it can't be any old organist. And one of the things I'm going to be looking for in candidates is that they do things, they have a personality on stage, both musically and personally. Jack Lasher is the president of the Spreckles Organ Society. He's looking for an organist who can command the unique venue. It's easy for organ music to fill a church, but this organ sits in a wide open public park. We get people on Sunday afternoons that are just walking through the park or they're on a guided tour and they didn't even know there was an organ there. And so they hear the organ, they come in, and then it's important that the organist be able to keep them there. One way to do that is by playing a variety of music, not church music, which many organists know, and not just classical pieces either. Case in point, outgoing civic organist Carol Williams played Hour Plus Tributes to David Bowie. A lot of organists are not geared up for that. You kind of work into it. We're not really trained to, you know, to do that. We're trained to play concert music, you know, like the great classics. Williams left after 15 years because her husband took a job out of town. She'll now work on her own music and give concerts. As civic organist, Williams says she loved the chance to show her range. Closing night has always become a tradition to let the hair down and do something like gospel, Broadway, rock and roll. Including her version of Phantom of the Opera. She says the right candidate to replace her will know how to attract a broad audience. They need somebody who's enthusiastic, determined, determined to get the organ, keep the organ as a voice to the city. It's vital that somebody is not sort of, you know, stuck up and just only wants to play Baroque or romantic music. She has to be able to make it interesting by talking about the music, uh, maybe throwing in a joke or two here and there. Lasher defines this quality as stage presence. A liveliness about it so that it's not just a cardboard figure sitting at the organ. Lasher expects around 150 applicants for the job. His nonprofit in the city will pay its roughly $56,000 salary. They'll post the job in the American Organist magazine. Yes, it exists. Then the committee will bring five applicants to audition in Spreckles. While Lasher is mourning the loss of Williams. She brings a, a, a glamour, if you will, to the stage. And she knows how to talk to the audience. And her British accent doesn't hurt anything. <laughs> He's excited to hear a new voice coming from the city's organ pipes. Hopefully for many more years to come. It says a lot about San Diego in that they have kept it going, and so it shows that there's an importance. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.